Hi everyone, thank you for joining me again. We are now on for part two of our Halloween savoury treats and tonight we're doing stuffed witches hats. As mentioned before, don't worry about scribbling down the whole recipe. It will be in the description for you to take a look at later on. Now, as we always start, we've washed our hands with nice warm soapy water and I'll start by showing you all the ingredients. So as for our recipe in part one, we've got our puff pastry over here. Again, shop bought, nothing fancy. We've got some pumpkin seeds again for decoration as well as strips of cheddar, strips of salami and some grated cheddar cheese there as well. We've also got some mixed herbs, just some black pepper, flour just to dust our surface like yesterday, along with our rolling pin, a nice sharp knife, baking tray all ready with our baking parchment on to make things a lot easier and to save a lot of time. Okay, let's get started. Now, the one thing I forgot to tell you yesterday when we started was to preheat your oven, so let's get that on. As for the same for yesterday's recipe, we're 220 degrees centigrade for 12 to 15 minutes again, but like we said yesterday, I checked after 10. Right, so we will start by lightly flouring our surface so that nothing sticks. We'll give that a good sprinkling. We'll then take out our puff pastry again. What would we do without puff pastry, hey? Again, flour our rolling pin just to make sure that doesn't stick to our pastry either. Right, then we will roll our puff pastry out. Again, moving it in the flour to make sure it doesn't stick. Right, now unlike yesterday, we want to try and get this reasonably thin today. We don't want our pastry being too thick as it might not hold the shape of the hats. So we want to roll it all out just like this. Again, moving it in the flour, keeping it moving. If it starts to stick, again, just add a little bit more flour to your rolling pin, like so. And there we have it. Right, this time, what we need to try and do is to cut some triangles out. So, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to slice it down the middle, not going all the way through, obviously, and then I'm just gonna cut some triangles. Now, you want these triangles to be quite big because we're rolling up the bottom of the pastry, which is the bit that's gonna be the brim of the hat and is going to be stuffed. So you want the triangles to be reasonably big. Now obviously it's up to you if you want to make your triangles smaller, if you obviously want to make more hats, then you would make the triangles a little bit smaller. You want to try and make sure that obviously you go all the way through the pastry. So maybe just score to start with and then Go through again just to make sure that they've cut properly, like so. We'll move this half down and start again with this half. Again, like yesterday, it doesn't matter if they're not perfect triangles if they're not all the same shape, length, size, as long as we're able to stuff the brim of the hat and get a little bit of decoration on, we should be absolutely fine. Right, so you just keep cutting your triangles out like so. Any leftover pastry just put to one side, that's not a bother. I'm sure we can find another recipe later on to use for that. Right, so when you've got your triangles, just arrange them like so. So all the flat edges are along the bottom, so it makes it easier to stuff. There we go, look. Right, then what you want to do is you want to take a slice of your salami. So here's our salami and our cheddar. 
just take a slice of the salami and a little bit of the grated cheddar that I showed you earlier and just sprinkle that in with the salami and then what we're going to do is we're going to roll that over like that just to make the brim of the witch's hat like so okay and the same again do it with each and every one that you've got I'll just do it quickly to show you a little bit of cheese a little bit of salami roll it over and that makes the brim of the hat okay and you just carry on with this until all of your hats are stuffed as it were and then we can look at doing the decoration on the hat as well go last few and then we are done sprinkle your cheese on look again it's up to you how much salami how much cheese you put if you want it to be hanging over the edges then it can be if you prefer it to be a little bit neater then trim it off I always find cook first trim later works best because then if it shrinks you've not got an issue okay so there we go that's done right now what we're going to do is just place them onto our baking tray in any particular order doesn't really matter how as long as they fit on there we go look any old which way there we go so that's them all arranged onto our baking tray I'm just going to do a quick tidy up there keep things nice and neat right now just purely for decoration I'm going to sprinkle them with a little bit of mixed herbs you can use any herbs you like oregano basil anything you so wish but I like mixed herbs I think they're the best ones to go for if of course I can get the lid off of the pot one more go there we go so I'm just going to sprinkle some of these on which also just makes a good bit of decoration on the hat as well there we go And then I'm also just going to do a little bit of cracked black pepper. Again, a little bit for taste, also just for decoration. So there we go. So that is our finished product. Again, as mentioned before, this goes into an oven 220 degrees centigrade. Again, 12 to 15 minutes, maybe check them after 10 minutes. In my dough. And we'll check back shortly. So after 10 minutes in the oven, this is how my witch's hats have turned out. And I'm rather pleased with them if I do say so myself. Now, while they are still reasonably warm is the time we're also gonna do another bit of decoration. We're gonna take our strips of cheddar that I mentioned earlier, and we're going to place them just above the rim of the hat like so just to make an extra bit of decoration we're then going to take our pumpkin seeds and we're going to stick just one in the center just like that just like i said for extra bit of decoration and hopefully 
as they are still warm the cheese will melt a little into the pastry hats and uh, make it look a bit neater and there we go again carry on until all of your until all of your pastry hats are decorated if you want to do some with decoration some without that's absolutely fine too they don't all have to be uniform as mentioned to you before you can do it however you like just keep going until again all of it is done And there you have it. Our finished stuff, which is hats. So there we go. Our savoury part of our Halloween treats is now finished with our stuffed witches hats completely sorted. Hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making and I'm hoping that you're going to take these away and give them all a try. Please comment and let me know if you tried any new decoration or send me some pictures that would be fantastic. I'd love to know what sort of things you guys did. Now as for the rest of the videos we are doing our sweet part of our Halloween treats which will include cupcakes as well as a gingerbread and basic biscuit recipe and I'm going to let the kids enjoy icing all of the biscuits as well. Thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!